Everybody get up, it's time to slam now Welcome to the Space Jam Space Jam Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam Alright Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam ah, I really gotta stop falling off this couch Whoa, but wow, that was a really weird dream I dreamt that Space Jam, yeah, Space Jam Remember that movie, the one with Michael Jordan Probably the greatest basketball player in the world Playing basketball with Bill Murray The dude from Seinfeld who gets eaten by dinosaurs And Looney Tune characters Yeah, I had a dream that they made a terrible sequel That took all the joy the original had and replaced with product placements. Man, I must have been having a fever dream. Oh, it's happening again! Aw, oh, man. It is real, isn't it? Oh, great. It's you. Space Jam 2. Return of Boogaloo. Now, before we talk about Space Jam 2, we have to talk about the original Space Jam. Now, this movie is a mess. I will be the first to admit that it does not deserve the amount of praise I and many others give it. But you have to understand, nostalgia and charming movies got the best of me again. And gosh dang it, this movie is freaking charming. I I like Michael Jordan, I like Looney Tunes, I like Seinfeld, I love Bill Murray, and oh my Lola Bunny, would you please get out of the way, you're blocking the game! And I'm not even the biggest fan of basketball, but when you put all this stuff together, it's just so hard to not have a good time. So why don't I like this movie? It should have all the factors. I like Amazing Basketball Player, Looney Tunes, Seinfeld and Bill Murray are gone, but hopefully the this movie has to have some charm to it. It doesn't. Well, to me at least. Just a disclaimer, this video is mainly about my experience with the movie, and you could totally have a different experience while watching this movie yourself, but I wasn't that charmed. And for really just one reason. A delayed movie is eventually good, but a rushed movie is forever bad. Wise words, Mr. Mario. This movie feels so rushed, but from a storytelling perspective, the animation is good. I would even say it's super duper good, but good animation doesn't always mean good movie. Fat Albert has good animation, but Fat Albert is not a good movie. Some of my favorite movies follow what I like to call a simple plot format. You're getting from point A to point B with crazy stuff happening in the middle. Great example, super bad. More like super good movie. What, did you not like that joke? You think you can do better? I will end you! The plot of super bad is super simple. These two friends just getting drinks for a party. There's a point A to point B, but the stuff that happens in between, that's the stuff that makes this movie so rememberable, crazy, and funny. Space Jam 2 has a little bit more complex plot than that. It's more from point A to point B to point C to point D. Like LeBron James gets stuck in a computer. He needs to recruit the Looney Tune characters to play basketball to escape from the computer. But that's it. That's literally the entire movie. Nothing interesting happens in between any of those points. It's just point A, point B, point C, point D. All right, movie done. Good job, writers. Stickers for everyone for coming up with this plot in a day. There is actually a good message in this movie that's basically you should let your children do what they're passionate about rather than forcing them to do what you're passionate about, which is a message I like, but it's really only touched on at the beginning and the end. Now, I don't know if it's just lack of attention to the writing, or if they just rush this movie out to cash in as quickly as possible, but something just feels off. Sometimes the characters' mouths don't look like what they're saying. I do not understand this world. See what I mean? Something doesn't seem right. And also, sometimes the characters act like complete idiots to push the story forward. Hey, um, kid who is my actual son who has no reason not to trust me. Yeah, you know that complete stranger you've been hanging out with who has godlike powers? Yeah, if we don't win this basketball game, he will delete and kill all of us. You want to know how this kid responds to that information? I'm playing basketball. I thought you'd be happy. Yeah, but that's really not the point, kid. And it's not just the human characters that have sloppy writing. The Looney Tunes compared to the first one are just so unfunny to me. I seriously did not laugh once by the Looney Tune characters this entire movie. Gun pointing at me, I could not tell you a single memorable joke that this movie had. Oh God, are we really doing this? I'm telling you, I don't know. Wait a second, wasn't Big Chungus in this movie? <laughs> not only is the writing bad, but so is the world building. The world building is the equivalent of watching a Universal Studios commercial 
Marvel with just a sprinkle of Nike product placement. I honestly hate these scenes. I find them all so uncreative. None of the characters in these worlds we quote unquote explore, and by explore, I mean go grab a Looney Tune character and leave, add absolutely anything to the plot of the story. They really could have had these Looney Tune characters be anywhere, and the plot would be exactly the same. These commercials they try to pawn off as worlds are just as pointless as the commercials in the Emoji movie. They literally just play clips from other movies, but hey, that's not Mini-Me, that's Elmer Fudd. Funny stuff, brother. Did you write that one down? I would much rather these worlds be like Wreck-It Ralph, or Lego Movie, or Lego Batman, where maybe when they go to Austin Powers' world, you can still have the funny clip of the movie, but once the scene's done, you hear the director say cut, and they meet with Austin Powers, maybe he's acting like Mike Myers, the actor, or he can still act like Austin Powers, and we can see Mike Myers reportray his role. That would be so cool. I would love that. Hello, Peter. Hey, Daddy. It would be very hard to do, but at least it wouldn't look this lazy. But what if they can't get the actors? Then you don't do this. You can ask to CGI them, commit blasphemy, and recast them, or cut them out of your movie. Just don't do this. This is sin. What if the CGI looks fake? Guess what? They're in a freaking computer. They are fake. Maybe the characters they meet in these worlds can give the Looney Tunes items and information that they can use against the villains. It seems like this that make me feel the writers just didn't care. This movie doesn't feel like they took the time to care about the story, the world building, or the characters. It feels like they cared more for promoting LeBron James and Warner Brother owned products and a flashy title that makes you nostalgic enough to watch it. I did not like this movie and I demand Daffy Duck to be fired immediately. Good night, everybody. <coughs>